Hi, here I am back in my art room um, at home. I'm gonna try to show you uh, a tutorial how to upload artwork to Artsonia, two different ways, either using your smartphone or using your computer. I have no idea if this is gonna work, so we're gonna try it. So um, the last video I have posted for you, I told you I made this picture of a cat, right? And I'm going to show you how to take a picture of this and get this on Artsonia. So um, we're gonna do my best here. So on your cell phone, if you have downloaded the Artsonia app, you're going to go to it. So I'm gonna click on it. And the first screen you're going to see looks like this. Don't mind, my phone is broke right here. Oh well, um, that's why there's a black dot. Anyway, you're going to go to students because that's who's uploading the artwork. So I'm gonna click on student. And then what you're going to see is a, um, it says scan the class QR code. So back on the original Schoology post that I had made about this, I uploaded a document and I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down here. Okay, and I uh, uploaded directions and they say remote learning directions. So if you click on that, which I'm going to do right now, it's gonna to download to your computer. Mine's right here. I'm gonna open it. And when you open it, um, I'm gonna enable editing. Uh, you can scroll down and there is an image of a QR code. A QR code is right here. It's that little weird shapey thing that leads you to something else on the internet. So all I'm going to do is scan that QR code using my cell phone. So I'm just going to place my cell phone up to this and I'll sh there we go. Okay, and um, the next screen looks like this. So it says, I'm Northwood Elementary School, which grade are you in? And um, I'm the teacher, so I'm not in a grade, but you're gonna click a grade. So I'm gonna hit NA, no grade, cause I don't have a grade. Um, and then it's gonna have a list of names in that grade. So I'm going to find myself, I'm actually on here, um, and I'm going to click on my name. Let's see if you can see that, there we go. That's me. Um, and it's going to show my name and it's going to say add artwork okay so i'm just going to click the add artwork button and then it's going to show you places that you can place the artwork so the only one that says these projects have been made available by the teacher for adding new entries so i'm going to click on the one that one that says remote learning so i'm going to click on that one and then it's going to give you instructions there's the directions the directions that I gave you here in this Word document are here, they're here, so you can see what to do. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll down because um, I, I don't need the directions, um, but there's a little plus button, Eboop, there it is, and I'm gonna click on the plus button. I'm sorry, this is so blobby, this is hard for me. Okay, so I'm gonna click on the plus button, um, and I'm gonna say, take new photo, you could have already taken a picture and you can just say import from your photo library, but I'm gonna take the picture and show you how. So where did it go? Take new photo. I'm gonna click on that and it's opened my camera. So this is the hard part. We'll see if I can do this. I have no idea. So I'm going to try to take this picture for you to see. There is my picture. I have no idea if I can do this. Let's see if I can do it. My goal when I take the picture is to try to get it as, let me see if you guys, you guys can't see what I'm doing. Anyway, try to get it as close as I can. Okay, so let's see what happens. There's the photo I took. It's not, not shabby. I'm trying to line it up as best I can. And then I'm going to click OK. Okay, now at that point, it gives you some options. You can um, edit the photo a little bit. So that's an option too. Um, so I'm just going to use these little uh, zoomy things around the edge there to edit my photo and make it look a little nicer. Crop out, you know, your fingers, things like that. And then I'm gonna um, click next, it's at the top. Let's 
see what happens. Okay, there it is. And it says submit. Now, I'm going to hit the submit button. Tells me it's uploading. And ta-da! Now, at this point, I can add a title to my artwork. Um, if I wanted to call it, you know, cat having fun, great. I could give it a title. I could skip that if I wanted to. I could save that. It's also going to give you the option to make an artist statement. What did you create? What uh, Does it tell a story? If so, what is it about? What materials did you use to complete it? What steps did you do? Are you proud of your artwork? Uh, what would you do differently? So I could fill that out as well. I'm going to say skip. And then it's just going to upload it to my artwork portfolio. So that's it. That's how to do it from the phone. Um, if you want to do this from your computer, you can do that as well. Um, so back over. And I, I kind of showed you this in the video before, um, but I'm going to go through it one more time. So I'm going to go back to the internet. I'm going to go back to um, Artsonia. I'm going to click the log in button at the top. And there's three choices, teacher, parent, student. I'm the student in this case, uploading artwork. I'm going to click student. I'm going to enter that access code. So that access code, again, was um, either on the Schoology post or in that um, Word doc we had. Um, you can also scan the QR code like we had already done um, or use that access code. The access code is Z-P-T-H-J-H-F-J. I think I said that wrong in the last video, by the way. Anyway, I'm going to copy this and paste it. Um, into Artsonia. So head back over here. I'm going to copy it in there, paste Rooney, and there it is. And I'm going to say log in. I'm going to search in the world. I'm going to search for my name. Let's get that out of there. Um, there we go. So in my case, I'm Jessica. That's because that's me. Right? That, there we go. Um, I'm Jessica W. That's me. So I'm going to click on it. Uh, your name will pop up there. Um, and here you can see I've already uploaded the cat um, because I just did it. But if you're going to add a new artwork, same exact thing. I can go to add new artwork. It's going to um, let me know where I can submit artwork. So remote learning artwork. Here are my instructions again, so you can't lose them. There they are. I'm going to say add new artwork. I'm going to select an image. I have no idea what's on my computer here, so we'll see if I can find something to upload. I have no idea. Um, this is not mine, but we're going to use it and pretend. I'll delete this later. It's a little picture of me. I'm going to say open. I'm going to say upload now. It's going to upload. <laughs> There's my silly little cartoon of me. Um, and if I needed to edit it, this is a great time. Let's say you wrote your name on the artwork or and we normally write our name on the back of our artwork or maybe sign it at the bottom. Um, but what you don't want to do is have like um, identifying your first and last name. Uh, so if you wrote your name, you could click the blur name and it would blur it out. I don't need to do that. Um, you can crop it if, you know, you've got too much there. You could shrink it down. Okay. Let's say apply. We zoom me in. I can auto fix it and change the color if the color is too light or dark. I can brighten it. I can rotate it if I took the picture the wrong direction. And then I'm just going to say accept. And then it's going to give me a title. I can say, oh, happy. That's the name of my artwork. Um, Finish. I can save and finish later, or I can submit it to the teacher. So that's your goal. You could tell what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it, which I really hope you try. Um, we talk a lot about our artwork and what we can do, and I think this would be beneficial for you to keep talking about your artwork. Um, and I'm going to say uh, skip just because I'm not doing that. And then it says it's submitted to teacher for review. So it comes to me. I'm going to look it over. I'll probably leave a comment on it like, hey, uh, I love the way you did, whatever. Um, just some little notes about what you made so I can see it. And um, that's that. You did it. 
So our goal is to do one square on the choice board per week. But if you are ambitious and you want to do more, please do. Um, you know, there's a lot of squares there and I like to make art. So I'd probably do a bunch of them if it were me. Um, but that's all you have to do is just one a week. So I hope this helps you um, get through the process of either using your cell phone or the computer to upload your artwork. Um, hopefully that is helpful for you. If you guys have any questions, email me or write me on um, Schoology as well. Um, and I also added another folder. If you want to upload pictures to the remote learning uh, folder on Schoology, I can show you that really quickly. I did make a little folder there if you would like to upload them there as well. We got a little album off to the side. And then it says remote learning. You can click on it. Oh, I see. <laughs> I see some pictures there. It looks like we've been uploading our animals and um, airplanes. Fantastic. So I'm glad to see that um, some things uh, artistic at home are showing up in your um, on Schoology. That's great. I'm glad you guys are having some fun with it. Relax and enjoy yourselves. Um, take this time to enjoy your family as much as you can. All right. I'll be back with more videos later. Have a good day.